Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Freelici Friday. Oh my goodness, I had some technical difficulties. I kind of went live and then my phone was saying like I needed to rotate it or something. So fortunately I know, because this happened like a year or so ago when I went to go live and then I think I was like sideways the whole time because somehow I had swiped on my phone and like there's like some little rotate button or something and I hit the like lock so my phone wouldn't rotate anymore. So anyway, I knew because I like I didn't know back then. So like I said, I was sideways the whole time and that was really annoying. And then Lily came home from school that day and I was like, Lily, what happened? I don't know what, what to do with my phone. And she was like, oh, mom, you just swipe here and push this button. So I remembered. So I just did that. So anyway, I apologize because I know. We're a couple minutes late getting started, but hopefully you guys are all having a great August, right? The last time I did a Facebook Live was on July 31st, which sounds absolutely ridiculous because now we're like two weeks into August. Hello, Miss Sharon, welcome. I'm glad you can be here with us. I'm still like rubbing lotion in my hands, just trying to make sure I'm all set and ready to go. So yeah, August, beautiful August, one more. Um, well, not even month, right? Um, hopefully, maybe we'll get some good weather for a while still. So yes, Miss Sharon, good morning. So and hello, Sherilyn, how are you? I love always with your purple hearts. I love that. Um, so hopefully you're doing well and you're feeling good. I hope, I hope. Um, so yeah, we've got lots and lots of good stuff to share today. First of all, we have been featuring all week long on our Facebook group. This is our uh, product of the week, the Gorgeous Posies stamp set. And it's funny because when you look at this stamp set, I don't know that it, um, it doesn't really, I, I, don't, I don't know what I want to say, but it, it doesn't do it justice. I think that's what I would say, that you kind of can't see the possibilities of the stamp set until you start playing with that. Plus some great sentiments like, uh, this is awesome, right? Wishing you comfort and peace at this time. Um, for a very kind and thoughtful friend, celebrating your day and get well soon. And then some beautiful kind of floral posy imagery that we are going to feature um, today on the projects that we're going to make in just a little while on our Facebook Live. We're actually, one of the cards that I'm demonstrating, we are making down at class, which I'm going to zip down to the studio right after the Facebook Live for um, class. And Lily's supposed to be, she's at her dad's right now, she's supposed to be coming over to help me out at class too. So she's always such a good helper. Um, I have been appreciating so much. Hello, Miss Diana. Her help, um, especially, you know, since like March when the whole COVID thing happened, I'm like, oh my gosh, when she goes back to school, what am I going to do? Because she's been an awesome helper this spring and summer as well. So, but they definitely need to go back to school. Oh my goodness. My kids, um, yeah, their brains are, um, they're not running at full capacity. So they need um, some extra mental stimulation, I think. So I'm really hoping school starts and stays for a while, right? Because that's the other thing everybody... Oh, reboot. Okay, there we go. I think we're back. Man, we're going to have... Hopefully, that's it. Hopefully, no more technical difficulties um, after right now, right? So um, let's see. What else? We are... Oh, let me show you guys. So beautiful. So along with that gorgeous posies stamp set is a beautiful gorgeous posies card kit also. So I'm going to attempt to show you the kit in this beautiful box, right? So you get this gorgeous box. It's like this right here. I've um, got the little tabby guy that you just loosen that up and then the lid opens up and then so pretty. So I love these card kits that, um, and I'll kind of spin this around here too so you can see the full box. So it's just a beautiful, really sturdy, good weight box. Um, I don't know, you could put jewelry, you could put cards, you could put cards in it and get a website. We are re, sorry, this is like blipping in and out. It keeps, for me, it's like showing reconnecting. So who knows, Lori, maybe there's an announcement that they're not starting school when they thought they were. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, so back to this super cute card kit. Um, actually, let me show you. So they have um, the little directions for the card kit. And then these are the four cards. So I love this because they kind of go, um, they show you by card and then they have little numbers here. And then can you guys see that on the inside? I guess it's right here. And then in many, many languages, which we're going to just show the English, then it shows you kind of the 
little everything that, so some tips, everything that comes in the kit, and then this little number kind of step by step. So you can see number one, and then you could look on one of the pictures and find number one and then figure out what to do. So anyway, it's a great little grid, kind of a um, step by step how to put the cards together. Then let me show you the super cute cards, right? Okay, so this first one is a get well soon card and what's kind of fun is so for example this is the card base so and a lot of times they'll do this in the card kits it's white on the inside so you don't have to put another liner so that you can write right in there right and then it's kind of a blushing bride base and then this is a piece a lot of this is already all printed on here so we just put that piece on and then this gorgeous ribbon i don't know if you guys can get um, how beautiful this ribbon is but it's kind of a silk silk satin with organza and then some gold kind of stitching in between there. So beautiful ribbon. These are all um, die cuts that are already perforated. So you just stamp and punch them out, um, pop them up on dimensionals. Same thing with the little leaves. So really actually simple, but I think a beautiful, beautiful card with minimal work for you to put it together. So here's another one um, with some it's like Highland Heather twine too. Little Baker's twine and Highland Heather. So another die cut. This is that sentiment, the wishing you comfort and peace at this time. And then a little bit more of that ribbon kind of um, stitched underneath there. But again, this is like an overlay that just already comes in the kit. So it adds so much to it without you having to really do anything, right? Um, this one for a very kind and thoughtful friend with some more of that twine. Sorry, I'm not probably doing a very good job here of getting that in. Again, printed with all the beautiful floral colors, stamped, and then um, with the ribbon. So hello, Miss Debbie, how are you? Glad you can join us. And then last one, the Celebrating Your Day card right here. So again, printed, and then um, it's got that gold foil, so some pretty... Um, like gold foil accents in the printing on here too with more of that Highland Heather twine and then another little die cut with our stamping inside there celebrating your day. So a beautiful card kit you make. I only put those four together but I'm pretty sure, can I read? <laughs> in teeny tiny print, 16 printed card bases. Ooh, and I have to show you the envelopes too because they're beautiful. So like, who wouldn't love to get this envelope in the mail, right? You're like, okay, what's inside of this, right? If you get this envelope in the mail, you're going to be pretty excited to see what the card is inside also. So, and I think they're all the same. I don't think there's anything. Yep, just those. So then the whole package, I just kind of left it all intact, but this is everything else. So this is for another 12 cards and envelopes. Everything is right in here, ready to go. So you can make more beautiful cards. Huh, there's something funny there. Or maybe I, I don't know, I caught something. Anyway, so, oh, and then here's another peek at the ribbon and the twine. So this is how you can kind of see a little, maybe a little bit better with the gold accents and then that Highland Heather twine. Hello, Miss Michelle. So glad you can be with us from way out west, right? Okay, so yeah, super cute card kit. So what you need is basically you need the card kit, you need some ink and some clear blocks, and then you need your gorgeous posy stamp set. So then you can make this beautiful kit. And then with that, right, remember the box too, with the printing on there, you can kind of see that again, right? So it all coordinates very nicely. And then actually as a part of our, sorry, I'm like, fluffing my hair because I'm not really liking it today. You know how that happens? Sometimes good hair days, bad hair days, hmm, maybe not a great hair day today, whatever. Okay, so um, yeah, cards that we made at our, hello Becky, how are you? Um, our downline meeting, my Inkspired Stampers group meeting that we had when was that? I guess it was a little while ago now. Anyway, featuring this gorgeous Posey stamp set. And I just have to share with you guys. I think I've been sharing these most of these cards all week long on our Facebook group. But if you haven't caught those, I thought I would share them with you as well. So you can see, again, the gorgeous Posies. So you kind of get the idea. Hello, Susan. So when you check out the stamp set, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's pretty. But then when you add color to it, right, do you see? The blue and purple, I love that color combination too. So this is your new Misty Moonlight and then um, Highland Heather um, on there. And then with the really pretty, that wispy white, uh, wispy whisper white um, seam binding ribbon. Okay, so that was one, here's another one. And then this one actually uses the new doilies. This is a square doily. So we actually just like cut it in half and I put one up 
half of it up there and one half of it down there. And then um, you can again see the posies um, and then the leaves and everything on that one. Okay, and then here's one more celebrating your day with a little bit more just kind of stamped off stamping. Hello, Teresa. So glad you guys can all be on today. Thank you. I know I've been kind of, this summer's been really crazy too, so I do apologize that my schedule has been so weird um, and not being able to do the Facebook Lives quite as often as I would like. Um, but I have enjoyed my summer too with my kids and with friends, so I appreciate some flexibility with all of that too, with extra work and then um, just getting out and having a little fun too. So yeah, but okay, so there's this one with the fun... Um, uh, the bumblebee stitched, uh, or gingham, I guess, the gingham ribbon, right? And then that's one of the ornate. Remember from last Halloween, those ornate dies? That's one of those dies there, too. So I had a little fun with that, right? And then last one, and this one I just shared. I'm sure I did this one on our Facebook group with the black and the pink and the green. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, and someone is maybe coming to pick up an order. <laughs> it's always funny when I see somebody pull in the driveway. So yeah, I hope they're going to peek um, in through the porch and be like, what's she doing and who's she talking to? Because it looks kind of funny when you see somebody doing this. Anyway, so but yeah, this is beautiful too. We use the that ornate garden. Um, the, the, um, that is the embossing folder, the ornate garden embossing folder. And then look, I love the magenta with the um, shaded spruce. I think that's a great, like the pink and green love. Love that preppy pink and green color combo too, right? So yeah, another beautiful one, right? So I think you guys are hopefully loving that stamp set too, as much as I have been um, loving playing with it and sharing it with my downline and with you guys on our Facebook group now too. So, um, Let's see, oh, quick reminder, if you have not used uh, your bonus day coupons, so the coupons, the $5 coupons that you ordered with your $50 orders back in um, July, make sure you use those. You have until August 31st. So you can go right online, um, put your order in, use the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit, and then use your bonus day coupons because you get $5, however many coupons you have, right? I actually had quite a few coupons and I was able to order the new die cutting machine. So it's on its way. Cannot wait to get that and play with it and then um, be able to show you guys. I'm sure you've seen other demonstrators probably using them already or maybe you even, um, as a demonstrator, you can pre-order. So if you're a demonstrator, um, make sure you put that pre-order in if you haven't done that already. So um, I'm very excited. My big shots are definitely like, not completely on their last legs, but they're, they're ready for a break. So, yeah, and Sharon, you're saying you have the new machine. All right, well, tell us about it. I can't wait to hear about it. So, yeah, my plan, I think it's coming later this afternoon, actually. So I'm going to be able to play with mine this weekend and then be able to show you guys next week. With that being said, I believe I'm going to be able to do um, Facebook Live next Friday at 1130. There is a small chance that we may be going out of town Thursday night, so then I wouldn't be here Friday to do that. So if that happens, I am going to do Facebook Live, but I'm going to do it on Thursday at 1130 instead. So I will um, kind of communicate that. Um, if there's any change right now, just plan on Friday at 1130 next week, same time, same place. If anything changes, I will make sure to post that on our Facebook group and communicate that. But we're going to do it on Thursday. Thursday instead. And if you don't realize it, once you pop on here to watch on Friday at 1130, and I've already done it, just scroll back in our group and find that Facebook Live and you can watch it then instead. So it's almost like you'd be doing it on Friday at 1130 instead. So that would work too, right? Okay, um, let's see. I have my notes. You guys, I'm like the note queen, right? I have to keep my notes. Um, yeah. Oh, also, Sharon's saying she's loving it. Good. Oh, I cannot wait to try mine too. Um, Make sure, if you haven't already, you can put your orders in from our new holiday. I keep calling it holiday. They're calling it like the August to December mini catalog, which is like a huge mouthful. So for me, we're going to be calling this the holiday catalog unless someone says I really can't do that, right? So anyway, yes, you can order out of here now. So I've seen some people having fun putting their orders in, getting some new holiday catalog product. I have ordered some things and I'm going to be super honest with you. I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to play with anything, but I have a swap that I need to make this weekend. So I will get into and start playing with my holiday catalog stuff. I'm, I'm late. I'm sure every other demonstrator in the world has been playing with their holiday catalog stuff. 
Um, and I just haven't had a chance yet. It's like, I don't know, I keep saying that, right? Um, it's August is part of my problem. It's August and I'm gonna play with all this fun summery stuff still. So um, you play with whatever you wanna play with. If you're ready to do holiday stuff, go for it. Or Halloween stuff, I'm kind of like excited about that too. So we'll have to get into that also. So, but yeah, you can order out of the holiday catalog. So if you haven't done that and you haven't used your bonus day coupons, use your bonus day coupons and put your holiday catalog order in, right? Um, okay, let's see. What else do we have going on? Somebody was just walking by. <laughs> I'm like feeling like super self-conscious today. Like people might see me in the window and like, again, who's she talking to? Is she talking to me or what? <laughs> so I don't know. I'm just being silly. Sorry, guys. Um, 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 let's do, we can do our first drawing. You wanna? Yeah, we're gonna do that. So for the beautiful, it almost matches my shirt, right? A little bit different anyway magenta madness ribbon is what we are drawing for today okay so your name was in here as usual share the Facebook live video every time you share your name is entered in this drawing you can see I've got my little um, stampin up bag here uh, my little trash bag I guess um, got lots of names in here from all the shares I appreciate so much the sharing so thank you and then also if you are new to me and just signed up for my email list your name is in this drawing also so I had a number of people just sign up for my email list so thank you because that keeps you updated on everything we have going on um, at the stamp studio locally and then online and through stampin up any promotions anything they have going on that's my most effective way of communicating with everybody I feel like I can get to everybody that way through email so okay here we go we are tossing them around we've got one lucky winner in my hand Miss Mary Ann McGinnis so congratulations Miss Mary Ann I know a lot of times she watches later so she will be getting a surprise when she watches the video later so Miss Mary Ann I will be sending out to you this beautiful magenta madness ribbon just in time for your um last summer projects that you might be making right okay and then i'm gonna dump those out and so do you guys want to see what we are going to give away next week and did i use it i was i meant to bring a card over hmm, i don't have anything that i've i have used this ribbon and i don't have i forgot to bring it over i think it's done at the studio to be honest so i couldn't even run into my craft room and grab it unfortunately but this is the knight of navy it is almost i guess i'm not even sure what the material is but it's kind of a really um soft flimsy almost so it's super pliable and fun to work with but it's like maybe an eighth of an inch wide this is part of the playing with patterns ribbon combo pack so this is the knight of navy playing with patterns ribbon so this is what we're going to give away on next week's facebook live um, if you share the video or sign up for my email list okay so yeah that'll be fun to see who wins that one next week and I have to give a quick congratulations. Uh, one of our um, Inkspired stampers, Miss Kelly Oldham, just reached, and I want to make sure I was going to say yes. So she just reached Bronze Elite, which is like the, like, woohoo, this is like the best time um, in terms of buying the starter kit once you promote to Bronze Elite, which means she had $1,800 in her rolling 12-month sales. Now, the best part, right, when you reach Bronze Elite is she gets 25% off of all of her orders, or if she's selling her product, she earns a 25% commission on anything that she sells rather than the 20%. So we always start out at a 20% discount or 20% commission. When you promote to Bronze Elite to $1,800 in sales, you get up to a 25% discount or um, commission on your orders. Plus, she also did it super quickly um, within six months of buying the starter kit. So she reached the um, second quick start level also. So that was awesome. Plus, I, I love to reward anybody in my Inspired Stampers group in my first, second, and third levels. Um, if you, whenever you promote, so in this case, when you promote to Bronze Elite, you get a $50 shopping spree. So Kelly's shopping spree uh, will be on the way to her very shortly. So congratulations, Miss Kelly. She is a part of Diana. Diana's group down in Kentucky. Um, so that's awesome. So congratulations and congratulations to Diane too because she's her upline and that's always fun is like being the proud mama, right? Um, of your downline members, your team members that they are doing well and you are probably, you know, working right along beside them, helping them. So congratulations, Kelly and Diane as well. All right, so um, what else do we wanna do? Yeah, let's see. What do I wanna show you guys now? 
Um, yeah, okay, I wanna show you these cards. This is fun, right? Um, so I got a couple of cards from um, some good friends of mine on Facebook here. So this first card, and it actually came, I love this idea too. I do this pretty regularly myself. So the card was covered with a piece of cardstock that was embossed. This is, I think, that hexagon embossing folder. And then here is this fun card. So if you're into like card playing or game playing, chess, right, playing, love this stamp set. And it says, hope your day is all fun and games, right? And then on the inside, <laughs> until someone gets hurt, and then it's just fun, it says. Um, it was very sweet. It was from Sandra. So thank you, Miss Sandra. I really appreciate it. I love getting handmade cards in the mail. So this was super fun. Um, I had sent her, I think, um, oh, she had won the designer series paper um, for one of her online orders. And um, so she was saying thank you very much for her designer series paper with this fun card. So I have to show you guys that because I don't have the stamp set. I'm not even quite sure what the name of it is. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I love, thank you. So thank you very much, Miss Sandra. And then here's another fun card. This one is from Teresa. Now she did say that this is maybe not. Um, oh yeah, and again, she was saying thank you um, for, cause she won the Zany Zebra stamp set. Sorry, I'm like off camera there. Um, she said it's not, uh, this is not a Stampin' Up stamp. It's from Honey Bee Stamps. And I don't know um, that stamp company, but I thought it was so cute and I love, like it's a super long, oops. Super long card, you can kind of see that too. But look at how cute and all the like detail. She did a lot of coloring, right, on her flowers with all of, to me it kind of looks like maybe she used the stamp and Blends markers on there too, but I have to show you guys just because I thought that was so cute. That fun card from Miss Teresa. So thank you, Teresa, as well. All right, I think we are, are we ready? Uh, let's do our next drawing and then we're gonna do, I've got, I've got a couple more things I'm gonna show you when we flip the camera down. But um, yeah, let's do our next drawing. So this drawing is for anybody that put an online order in between um, last Friday's Facebook Live and this past Wednesday, right? So anybody that put an order in of at least $30 is automatically receiving both of these cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. This was that fun one that kind of flipped open like this, right? From my um, team member, Miss Nancy Gulick, who shared that with us. And then this is another, just kind of a little fun flippy fold there also, right? The make today ridiculously awesome. Love that sentiment, right? Okay, so again, yes, anybody that put an order in is definitely getting these two cards. If they bump their order up to $50, they are either getting um, and got to choose, right, from the free embellishment for August, which are the in-color enamel dots, because they're finally not on back order. I've been wanting to offer these for forever as your free embellishment, and so now I can get them, so they're, they're available, right? Or you can get the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which my first couple pages, um, I ran out of um, color ink, so they're in black and white, um, but that's all right, right? Um, so I'll kind of try to flip through. So this, our theme, our theme was summer. So you can't really, it's not quite as fun until you get to the, oh, you're not even like seeing these things, sorry. I'm too busy like looking at it myself, but you kind of, I love that one right there. And that's my card. I'll show you guys that again in a sec. Um, but you kind of get the idea, right? So we've got 16 different projects, 16 different demonstrators with 16 different tastes too in you know what they're drawn to what they like um because everybody kind of likes different stuff right so this is the card that i made with um this is the other card kit and i'm totally drawing a blank i'm going to look it up because i want to tell you guys because i that card kit is down at the stamp studio i love to get those kits and then um, have them on display at the studio, which is great, but then sometimes I want them here to show you guys too. It's part of the Simply Citrus card kit. So you can see right here, so I use this stamp set that comes in the kit, because this is one that it's a, um, like a full kit where you get the stamp set and all the parts and pieces to make, um, and I think it's uh, 15 cards, yeah, because we have five different cards and then three of each of them. But oops, so you guys can kind of see that's the stamp set. And it's this is the only one sh shown at full, um, size all those others are at like 50 per 40 percent actually so they're about they're quite a bit smaller but anyway so that stamp set from that cute little kit is what I use to make my 
Hello, sunshine. I liked that. Just um, the lemons and the kind of freshness made me think of summer. So that's why I used those um, stamps on this card. So yeah, again, that is in the tutorial and then 15 other projects are in there also. Okay. So you could get, again, $50 order, either the, um, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the embellishments. And then you also got your name in the drawing to win. This was the Playing with Patterns Designer Series Paper Pack. So that's what we are gonna draw for right now. So lots of good stuff when you order through me, which I do truly appreciate every single order, no matter how small it is. At least $30 in an order gets your name um, in the drawing. So that's kind of like your minimum that you wanna meet. Um, but yeah, if you bump it up to 50, then you get that embellishment or the PDF tutorial. Um, but like I said, I appreciate every single order. So thank you guys, it's a huge, um, compliment to me as kind of a thank you for doing the Facebook lives and um, you know just participating in things I appreciate your orders so okay here we are gonna mix the names around and we will see who the lucky winner is of the playing with patterns designer series paper okay I have one name in my hand and it is Miss Teresa Hinchman congratulations Teresa she was the one that just sent that cute bumblebee card too so very fun so thank you Teresa I appreciate your order I will be getting your cards and um, the designer series paper sent out to you this uh, beginning of next week I guess I should say uh, we went away for a couple of days actually the kids and I did we've I don't know if I ever have said this but Every year we talk about doing um, like kind of day trips or maybe like an overnight. You're welcome, Teresa. Um, just to get out of town, like nothing big, but just to kind of get away for a little bit. And we did we did like a day trip back in June and July kind of came and went and we didn't do anything. So I've been determined to do something in August. So we were like looking at the weather forecast last weekend, realizing, oh, like this week, like Wednesday, Thursday is gonna be really nice. So we like snuck out of town um, for Wednesday and Thursday this week. So. It's so weird in my brain, like I've kind of been on vacation, like today's Friday and then the weekend's coming and I'll work all weekend to make up for not being here Wednesday and Thursday, but I'm like, what day is it? Like I'm really, <laughs> that whole like discombobulated thing, that's what's happening right here for me now. So yeah, and when, when I was saying, Teresa, I'm gonna send your stuff out, I'm like, um, what day is it? Yeah, I'm gonna send it out uh, beginning of next week on Monday. So yeah, so congratulations, Teresa. Okay, so blah, 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 right? So let me tell you guys or show you, cause I love this stamp set. We are making a card very similar to what I'm gonna show you in just a sec, but this is what we're gonna give away on next week's Facebook Live. Is this awesome? I love this, the cute fruit stamp set. So it's similar to that other one that's part of, um, right, it's kind of, um, this one has lemons, I guess, right? And it says, hello, sunshine. But it's all kind of summery and fruity, right? So cute fruit. So let me tell you guys about these. We've got this fun, um, you're one in a melon. So that's fun, right? Little pun, right? Wishing you a slice of happiness. I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. How cute is that? And then there's this teeny tiny, that one says smile. And then look at the little smiley faces there too. So you can see all the fun. I have made one card with this stamp set and I'm dying to make more, um, but we actually, so this was a card that I received from Karen Titus. It was a swap that I received and I loved her card so much that we're actually making um, a version of this. We're using some different designer series paper. Um, but yeah, this is the basic idea of the card um, that we're gonna be making down at class too, because I loved, I love using, um, yeah, my swap cards to um, make cards that we're gonna use at class too, because there are so many amazing demonstrators out there with such cute ideas, but look at that, the fun with this sentiment, right? Wishing you a slice of happiness. So isn't that cute with all the fruit on there? So cute fruit, okay, so. Put your online order in anytime between now and next Wednesday at midnight. I'll give you the host code. It's also, you guys know this, right? Always on my blog at Gathering Inc with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Um, grab that host code, put your order in of at least $30 and your name will go in the drawing to win this cute fruit stamp set next week, okay? All right, whoo. Okay, I'm like trying to make sure I'm staying on track here too. But I think we're doing all right, yeah. Yeah, okay, so what we're gonna do, yep, I've showed you guys all this stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, good, <laughs> just trying to make sure. Okay, so we are gonna flip the camera down, all right, and then I've got a couple more things to show you and then we're gonna do our stamping. So bear with me, turn your heads away, flying through the air, here we go. Hopefully this is all good. Okay, we're gonna flip it around. 
Okay, all right, we're looking good actually. All right, let me, I realized I need to grab my grid paper and postcode. So here, in case you need a refresher, we'll put that. This will help me make sure I'm in view too. Then I know, okay. So there's the host code that you can use to put your order in um, anytime between now and Wednesday. And I have to show you guys a couple more things. So first of all, is the best year class to go. And you may have seen me um, kind of uh, advertising for this through my email and um, on Facebook. So I just wanna show you guys the cards real quick. So you guys know this, right? With my class to go kits, we make four cards, you make two of each of them. I give you a couple of different options depending on whether you have the bundle. So in this case, the best year stamp set, and then the dies, um, the plaid, the best plaid dies. They are awesome. You guys are gonna love this bundle. If you already have those things, then go for option number two, because it doesn't include those, right? But so let me show you the cards and I'll tell you about the options real quick. So, cause I love, I had so much fun playing. Like, look at how cute and preppy that. Thank you for all that you are and every thoughtful thing you do. So that that is one of the cards in the card class to go kit. Hip, hip, hooray, you did it, right? And then happy birthday to you. Wishing you your best year yet. You guys can see I used a lot of the um, in colors too. And then I had to do one holiday card because they have that sentiment in there too. Warm wishes for a happy Christmas. And then the fun ribbon also. So, okay, option number one includes the best year stamp set. So the sentiments that are all included on here and then the plaid dies, okay? You also get um, a package of the in color enamel dots and then the flowers for every season ribbon combo pack, which includes this... Um, uh, misty Moonlight and Silver Twine, and then the Just Jade Gingham ribbon, right? And then there's also one more, a um, white kind of linen ribbon too. Um, so those three ribbons are included as well. You actually get the in color dots for free with option number one, which is $90, because I think the value of the bundle is like $57.50 alone. So it's a it's a higher priced bundle, but it's so worth it, because look at all the fun you can have making those fun plaid cards, right? Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies. So don't get option number two if you don't have them, because you have to do your own stamping and um, die cutting, right? So option number two includes the in-color enamel dots and then a package of the ribbon, and also always the PDF tutorial, which I forgot to mention already in option number one, right? So option Option number two is $32. Option number three is just the PDF tutorial. You wanna do everything on your own. I'm just gonna tell you what I did and how I put them together. That's always $15. It's always available on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com even after the RSVP deadline passes, okay? Um, and all of my um, past class to go kits are on there too. So if you need some inspiration, Go check that out again at gatheringinspiration.com. Up in the top, there's a button that says PDF store. So click on that. You'll see all my past PDFs on there. And then option number four is for any of my inspired stampers, anybody in my downline that wants to get one of these to-go kits. Um, they do need the stamps and the dies, but I do everything, all the other um, die cutting that you might need done, I do that for you. You get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards at cost. It's just $12 for your downline to-go kit, okay? Um, let's see, uh, RSVs are... P R S V P S are due by next Friday, August 21st, and the kits will ship out by September 2nd, okay? So let me know if you have any questions. I love to get, because these cards are, oh, I, I had so much fun with these. Just beautiful, beautiful cards. So if you have any questions on that best year class to go, let me know, please, okay? Um, oh, I have to show you one more thing, and then we're gonna do our stamping. So these are the fun, um, club member treats that I was making for everybody this month. So I love, this is some of that Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper, some of that um, stamp set, the Ridiculously Awesome stamp set, right? The You Are My Sunshine. I know I shared a card that was made like this and I loved, I have loved that card so much. I was like, oh, we're gonna put that design on one of these awesome little mini paper pumpkin boxes. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet, but I really wanted everybody to see them and know how cute they were and also know, so I, inside, I usually put like chocolate or treats or something, but I wanted everybody to know that our note cards and envelopes fit perfectly inside. That's gonna keep flipping over, right? So these, this is just one of our Whisper White note card and envelope. I didn't even stamp on it. I didn't do anything on there because I just wanted, I wanted like a good example for everybody to see. So, because my thought was these would be a great gift idea. You could make 
Um, you could make birthday cards, you could make Christmas cards, whatever you wanna do, put them in your little paper pumpkin box, decorate the box, and what a cute, simple little gift idea, right? So, yeah, so sorry if I spoiled, if anybody has not gotten their club member treat yet, you um, maybe uh, will know in advance what it is, but it's just so cute and fun, I had to show you guys it. Um, plus, like those paper pumpkin boxes, I have been loving those too. Okay, all right, I think we are ready to do some stamping, ladies. So let's get the grid paper. Actually, maybe I'll, again, I'll put that there so you guys can kind of see it, and then I make sure, but I'm not. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so, hmm, what if we go maybe right about like that? I don't know, I'm just trying to make sure. The grid paper helps me know if I'm in view or not. We might not be able to have the host code and the grid paper, but I think we'll try that for now. Okay, so, all right, hold on. I need a quick sip of water. <laughs> okay, so ladies, here is our first card featuring that gorgeous posy stamp set. I love this stamp set. And I really wanted to use like this blue, the blues and green color combination. So we have Just Jade here. This is Pool Party with some Just Jade stamping there. And then that is Granny Apple Green. I was gonna say Old Olive at first. It's funny, I think it, when I stamp it, it looks much brighter and then it kind of deepens up as it dries. So let me show you how we are gonna make this card. Get my things out. Yep, Granny Apple Green, Pool Party, Just Jade. Look at, isn't that, isn't that a fun color combo when you put those three together like that? Don't you love that? I was just really excited to use that color combo. Okay, so here, we'll get our stamps and everything out. All right, so let me give you some dimensions first, and then we'll do some stamping and die cutting. So we have our Just Jade cardstock. So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. You guys know me. I love my nice crisp fold on my card, right? Then we have a piece of, this is just jade cardstock that we embossed four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then everything else, these are all, these are all scraps to do our scallop square die cut this we're going to stamp our flower and this is for our sentiment and then this is the white piece that's going to go right there that you do need to know that one measures two and a half by two and a half okay that maybe you can barely see but two and a half by two and a half and just so you guys know everything that you need to know to recreate this card will be on my blog it's actually going to be tomorrow morning though because um I have to go straight from here to class, and so I won't have time to get everything uploaded until tomorrow. So have a little patience with me, but I will have everything, all the um, the colors of everything that we use, the dimensions, everything that you need to know to recreate these cards and order what you need to be able to recreate them, okay? That'll be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com tomorrow. Okay, so in the meantime, let's do our stamping. So these things we're gonna pop over here. So we've got a little bit of stamping that we need to do. And I think I want to grab, I may not need this, but we're going to use it anyway. Okay. So we've got that there. All right. So let's see, we are going to do, we need pool party ink first. Okay. So we're going to do our nice, easy tap, tap, tap in pool party. And then, Ooh, I almost mixed that up. Didn't I? This is the one that I just want to stamp that on, okay? And then we are going to use just jade ink to put the little dots in the center of that. And it's funny how much darker it looks and then it lightens up a lot um, over time. Okay, then with our Granny Apple Green ink, we are gonna stamp our celebrating your day and i'm going to use this piece because i'm not sure i have enough room on there for that one so there's our celebrating your day and then on this one we want to stamp our leaves oops <laughs> i was going to ink it up on here but that's not right okay so this one is just jade okay so that's not what i want though i'm looking at that like wait a minute okay here hold on we have to clean this off i need on the leaves, we are gonna use the granny apple green. Okay, 
So here we go. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. You guys can see that, right? We're going to stamp that one there. And then we're going to stamp that one there. Okay. Then, and you know what? I am going to clean these off because many of these things we need on the next card too. So let's just clean off what we've done so far. Okay. And that little baby. Stamping those off. And then the veins of the leaf, that's what we want to use our Just Jade ink for. So we're going to stamp that one there. And then that one right there. And we'll clean that baby off. And it is all ready to go for our next card too. I'm going to clean that sentiment. Okay. So now we can do, we have some die cutting and some embossing and some paper snipping to do too. Hello, Miss K. Welcome. I hope you're doing okay. I know you've had a lot going on. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Trying to get everything situated. So actually we don't need that, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's do our die cutting first. I want this handle on this way, don't I? Okay. Get that up in view a little bit better. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got that one. So we are going to use the Tasteful Labels dies. We use these all the time. If you guys do not have these yet, these are the thing that you need. And I actually, there's one more too that I've pulled out for another card at the studio. So we're going to use this one on our sentiment. And then we have the Layering Square dies. And I have to help myself out and put that one right there. So this one is the second largest with the scallop edge um, square, scallop square, okay? So we are gonna put this piece and it just fits, I noticed that the other day, right there. And then we are gonna die cut our sentiment and that moved, so we're gonna fix that in a sec. We'll get this one lined up straight you might have to move the paper to keep it on. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna die cut these babies. And then we have our embossing to do also with our new dainty diamonds you see. And you, got, you guys have seen, right? It's got that little um, embossed uh, element, I guess, to it. I'm trying to think of what, what do I say about that? <laughs> it's just, it's kind of embossed, right? And then our little scallop square. I always love these, the little scallop squares, right? Okay, so let's see. Then we are going to do our embossing with our new Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. So you see that right there? It's just a nice, subtle, kind of get the idea there too, right? Okay, so we are going to pop this baby right in there, okay? Crank this one through and I will show you what the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder looks like. Okay. Because it's pretty subtle on the card. Okay, so that's actually kind of the back side, the debossed side, and then there is the embossed side. Can you see all the pretty diamonds on there? Beautiful, right ladies? All right, I think we are done with our die cutting here. Actually, let's get Okay, yeah, trying to stay organized as usual. Okay, so we are, we got like all askew, didn't we? That's all right though. Okay, doo, 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 where's our card? Right here, this is what I'm looking for. <laughs> trying to make sure that I know what I'm doing here, ladies. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces. So the last step, gotta grab your paper snips and my glasses too, actually, here. Do this real quick. So there is no die that cuts this flower out. So you are going to very quickly and easily with your paper snips, because they are the most fabulous scissors in the world, you are just gonna kind of snip right around here. You guys see how I'm kind of turning the paper, um, kind of cutting as I go. And I like to leave a little bit of white edge around. I think that kind of rather it's really hard to cut right up alongside um, the ink. So I don't like to do that. I leave a little white edge right on there. 
And then we just kind of keep twisting the paper as we go. And isn't this so therapeutic? I was originally gonna say, see, it's almost as fast as, well, I guess depending on how organized you are, <laughs> finding your dies, getting them set up on your big shot and actually cranking the handle, right? So by the time you do all that, you could almost, I wanna cut in there a little bit more, have snipped around this flower, right? You know, maybe you're not gonna make a million of them. Although sometimes when you're sitting and just kind of maybe watching TV or something, what a fun little thing to do, right? So there we go. We got our little guy all cut out there. Okay, remove the glasses because I feel like I'm getting seasick already. So we're gonna put a little dimensional behind that guy. We're gonna put some dimensionals behind our sentiment. Then where's this piece right here? We are going to add this to our uh, little scallop square piece. Okay, is that going? It's funny, it almost didn't look, look like I'd gone off the edge, but we're good. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. We are going to pop our flower and I want to make sure yeah okay I like how that looks trying to make sure that I I liked how that looked you know you can kind of spin that flower around to get it where you like right okay now we're actually going to tie a bow around this embossed piece and then we are going to add it onto our card let's scoot that over there okay there make sure we're in view so this ribbon is so easy to work with because um, you kind of can't mess it up. You know, it's this crinkly ribbon, um, which I love. It's just so, so very easy to work with. It's like a song. We want to sing a song about how easy it is to work with it. Maybe we will. Okay, so I'm going to add a good amount of adhesive. I always like to do that on these pieces that are embossed. And I want to actually move that ribbon maybe right about there. Probably should have moved it before I put the adhesive on, but you know, can't remember everything, right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pop this piece. Love that, right, that embossed. And then we're gonna add some more adhesive. You could put, um, you see how I had to do that? Sometimes um, it's like my last flick of the wrist doesn't advance the adhesive. So just use your, Kind of point your finger and roll that forward if you need to. Well, which way do I want to go? Right there, okay? So this one we are going to add right there. Press firmly because that can kind of pop off with the, um, with the embossing on there. And then we've got this celebrating uh, your day. Got that one right there. And then we have one little... Um, enamel, our 2020, 2022 in color enamel dots. We are gonna use one of our Just Jade dots. We're gonna just pop that right. I'm gonna use this to get it where I wanted because I didn't press too hard. There, I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so there is our first card. Isn't that beautiful? Again, I love that color combo the Pool Party Just Jade and Granny Apple Green. I think it's a beautiful combination of colors together, right? Don't you? Okay, all right, so card number one. Let's get that stuff out of the way, and we will move on. Show you guys card number two. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to, I have to take some of this stuff back down to the studio to make cards card class, so I wanna make sure that I'm not screwing anything up or not bringing what I'm supposed to, right? Um, oh, let's see, oh, you can also use the silicone mat to advance the seal, nice. Sharon, you are so good with the tips, thank you. That is another great idea. Okay, I might have to try that. Okay, so if, if I have a problem, I've got my little silicone mat and we'll just kinda of use this because I think it is sticky right now. But yeah, all right, good to know. Thank you, I love that. 
Yeah, lots of good tips and ideas out there. Okay, so this next card is another swap because you guys, I'm telling you how much I love these swaps. So this wishing you comfort and peace at this time. Isn't this beautiful? And she actually, I think maybe with a sponge dauber, put some Highland Heather ink. Can you see that on her ribbon too? I opted to not do that, but I thought it was such a cool effect. I had to share that with you guys. So this was a swap that I received from uh, Lori Krauss. It's K-R-A-U-S-S. -S. She does beautiful work. That's all right, Sharon. Even if the tip is not your own, we all appreciate good tips, whoever they came from. So thank you. We still appreciate you sharing. Okay, so this was my version of this card that we're actually going to make down at class. So I went with the Get Well Soon instead, and then I just didn't stamp that ribbon. I ended up using some of the champagne rhinestones too, because I loved those on this card. But yes, Sharon, Lori did a beautiful job on that card, didn't she? So, okay, let me show you how we are going to make that card. Let me scoot those dimensionals back up there. Okay, so we have an, a beautiful combination of colors here. And I'm actually missing, there's probably a love note to myself in here that told me that I needed some things because I can already see that I don't have my yellow ink. And it's not on the other card either. Okay, one sec, let me go see if I can find. how I did this, but we're going to use So Saffron. I have a feeling that this is Daffodil Delight, and somehow I already have it down at the studio, I guess, because I, I don't have it here, but So Saffron is going to work really well, too. You guys can see, like, look at, look at that beautiful color combo. So So Saffron, Highland Heather, Mossy Meadow, Mary Merlot, Rococo Rose, and Gorgeous Grape. Look at, isn't that, doesn't that work really well on that card? Okay, so let's get to it, ladies. All right, so I've got all of these pieces here and way more stamps than I need. I'm trying to see what am I not, I don't know. <laughs> Let me show you. So I start with, we'll, we will figure this out. This card, uh, thick whisper white card stock is what you're gonna start with. This time along the eight and a half inch side, I cut it at four and a quarter inches right there. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our tall card, okay? Uh, let's see. I don't want to put that away. I'm going to put that right there. That can go there. And then we have a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock, just a little something to pop out around the edges. Three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And then this is some of the shimmery white cardstock. Um, she used that on her card. I don't know if you can kind of, I mean, it's in the, in the um, cello envelope too, but it was beautiful. I haven't used my shimmery white paper much, so I was excited to Pull that out. So this one measures three and three quarter by five inches. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see. I'm trying to find my little. Hmm. It's never where I need it. My little grid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I. Uh, yeah okay well we might just get ink on this i was trying to find my little scrap piece of grid paper but i can't seem to find it <laughs> oh well okay so we are going to start with highland heather ink okay and we're going to stamp a couple of these flowers we're going to do one maybe right there we're going to do one right there isn't that beautiful i love that already can you guys see that okay all right then we are going to add in some of our leaves okay so we're gonna stamp maybe one right there one is gonna go off the edge right there one goes there one there and we're gonna put one right there okay then we're gonna come back and add the veins in the same color in mossy meadow ink so we're gonna do that one and that one that one, we got two more. So you just kind of keep spinning around. And the beauty of this is it's kind of a watercolor wash, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys know I love that a lot. Okay, next we are gonna add in the Rococo Rose. 
Well, hello, Miss Lisa. Glad you can join us from Wisconsin. And thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you. I, well, and I can't take credit. Like I said, it's a swap I received from Lori Krause. Um, I've always admired her and her work. I remember going to kind of a training session like way back when I was first starting out and she was just, she's like a hilarious gal. Um, so I just remember really enjoying meeting her and learning from her. Okay, so then with, what was this, Mary Merlot, we're gonna add those little accents right there and there and there. And then lastly, we are going to use, well, almost lastly, we're gonna use our So Saffron. And we're gonna just kind of add in some of the little dots just to give it, oops, I tried to move that. Of course, now I have, okay, hold on. <laughs> I gotta get that ink off. Okay, there we go. And I think, actually it's funny because um, I'm pretty sure I stamped off um, on some of this. And now I'm like, oh, it looks just as good, I would say. Okay, so So Saffron, last step is our gorgeous grape, get well soon. Hello, Miss Sally, I'm here. I know, it's kind of hard to keep track these days, isn't it? It's been a little crazy, but yes, I'm here, so I'm glad you're here now too with us. Okay, so get well soon. We're gonna stamp that right there. Oh, I love that font, oh my gosh. Beautiful. Okay, so you can see just lots and lots of stamping. And I will spare you guys. I actually already um, stamped another flower that's gonna go maybe right about there, and we will pop that right on. So you don't have to watch me fussy cut with my paper snips again, one of those flowers, right? Um, okay, so we can start putting things together. So let's see if our, so now I won't be able to test it probably. My, my um, stamp and seal is probably right where it needs to be. Oh, look at that. So I had some purple. We're gonna have to put a big, <laughs> oh, bummer. Oh, well, you know, that's how it goes. Then they know it's handmade, right? If you have a little boo-boo on there somewhere. We're actually gonna put dimensionals behind this one. I liked this idea with the two panels here and then pop it up on some dimensionals. So we're gonna do that right there, okay? Peel these babies off. And ladies, it's getting warm in here. Um, I think it's supposed to be 90 or so here in Michigan. And so I was kind of panicked early and then I was like, oh, okay, it's, it doesn't feel too bad. And now, <laughs> now all of a sudden I'm like, okay, it's starting to feel hot, but that's all right. We're gonna head to the stamp studio soon and there's air conditioning in there. So <laughs> that will be good. I wanna put that right there. Hmm. You know what, for this one, I'm gonna, yeah. Then I cover up my boo-boo. That's what we're doing. We're gonna put that right there. See, so um, what did somebody say? When, I think it was at the stamp studio. Someone said, there are no mistakes, only opportunities to embellish. So I could have embellished and put um, some of my champagne rhinestones uh, to cover that up, or I could just put my flower right over there. And then that is good. Okay, so we are gonna add, you know what I think I wanna do too? I was curious to see if we put a couple of um, the rhinestones in the middle there. I was kind of feeling like, maybe if we do like three of them, like it needed a little something. So let's do that. Ooh, I like that. Oops, there we go. So we'll put those, we're gonna kind of curl that up a little bit. So it'll be a little bit different. We, maybe we won't sprinkle. So on this one, I sprinkled a couple on the card, right? But this one, I think I'm just gonna leave those there. And then let's grab our that whisper white seam binding ribbon, we're gonna make a bow and then we'll decide where we're gonna put the bow. Okay, let's get that going right through there. Okay. And let's see, so do we want, I don't know, I'm trying to decide where do we want the bow? That's the only thing that now I'm like, hmm, what do you guys think? Is it good there or do we want it down? Hmm, that might be the only thing. Now I'm struggling with where I want my, where do I want my bow? I think I'm gonna put it right there actually. Okay, so we're gonna grab a mini glue dot. So you can just have some fun. You can put your bow wherever you like. Yeah, we're just gonna put that right about there. I'm gonna trim that guy off just a little bit. 
And there we go. Okay, serious crafter math, ladies. I feel like I just wanna like whoosh, just push this all out of the way. So there's one version, there's another version, right? I think they're both beautiful, okay? All right, so quick reminders since it's been a little bit, right? Put your online order in of at least $30 between now and next Wednesday. Where's my other card? Here we go. <laughs> you are gonna get these make and takes or the completed cards, whichever you choose for your $30 online order. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the super cute, cute fruit stamp set, right? Love that stamp set. And bump your order up to $50 and you're gonna get either the free embellishment, which are another full package of the In Color Enamel Dots or the Demo Design Dream Team, the August PDF tutorial. Oops, excuse me. So. Let me know. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here, hold on. This is the right one. All of a sudden, I was like, wait a minute. I have two of these pieces of paper over there. This is the correct coast code, the R4P4KGGM, which is also on my blog. So sorry, guys. <laughs> you know, you go away for a week and like you forget how to do stuff. I think that's where I'm at. Plus, like I said, it's getting hot in here now. So, okay. I hope you guys had a great time today on Facebook Live. I was really glad to be back. I was missing this last week. So thanks guys for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed these cards. I hope you are loving the new gorgeous posy stamp set as much as I am, as well as the beautiful kit too. You can see it a little bit. See it again here too, right? Super cute kit. Uh, stamp set. You can make beautiful cards with it as well. So thanks for watching today, guys, hanging in there with me. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you. I'm pretty sure it's next Friday. If it's not Friday at 1130, it's going to be Thursday at 1130. But plan on Friday and I will post if I need to do it Thursday instead. Okay, so have a great weekend and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Thank you.